I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. God dies on Good Friday. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling, and we need your gifts in these dark times. O sorrow, dread, our God is dead upon the cross extended. This is the hymn writer. When you look at the cross on Good Friday, that's God hanging there, answered for your crimes. My crimes too. I put him there with my sins. I put him there with my unbelief. I put him there as I take his name in vain. I put him there when I despise the preaching and teaching of God's word. I put him there with my despising of my parents and other authorities. I put him there with my murderous hatred thoughts and ugh, I put him there with my lust and my fornication and my adultery and my sin and my, my jokes that I tell. I put him there with my thieving, my stealing and my cheating on my taxes and my, my stealing from stores by not paying what I'm supposed to or my, or my employer. When I don't work when I'm supposed to work. I put him there with my gossip my tearing other people up, my telling lies about my neighbor or telling truths to people when I shouldn't be telling the truth to them. Slander, gossip. I put him there with my coveting of everything in creation. I did this. And it's not just a man that's dying there. It's God. Now, if you're a little tweaked and like, God the Father didn't die. Well, that's true. God the Father didn't die. God the Spirit didn't die. Well, God the Spirit didn't die. So how can you say God died? Because God the Son, the eternal Son of God, the begotten of the Father, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, He dies on Good Friday. He breathes His last. I killed God. You did too. God died to save me. God died to save me. This is a religion where God doesn't separate himself from his creation. God, when God, before there is a world, decides that the only way to save men from themselves and death is to take upon himself our sin, our death, and die. When you look at Good Friday, you see the Father's love. When you look at Good Friday, you see the Son's faithfulness. When you look at Good Friday, you see your salvation. As sin entered the world through one man, and with sin came death, death to all men because all men sinned, so by the faithfulness of the Son of God, Adam 2.0, so all of us get life. On the cross, you see the salvation of the world. Pause for a second. Don't just think of the law of it. I killed God. But think of the gospel of it. God died to save me. That is the faithfulness and love of God. The love of God is not abstract. The love of God is not unlocated. Like you love puppies, so God loves you. No, God, who is rich in mercy, pushes you out of the way of the bus driven by your sin. The death that's coming to you, and God dies. On Easter morning, God will rise from the dead. But that's Easter morning. Tomorrow, we celebrate the death of God for us and for our salvation. And make no mistake about it, everything God does, I know that this is getting a bad rap lately in some Lutheran circles, but I'm going to say it anyway. For you. For you. For your forgiveness, for your life, for your salvation. Jesus, the Son of God, dies. And so you're saved. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.